We would be honored if you would join us. Everyone's invited, of course. Hey Star Wars fans and action figure collectors, thanks for tuning in to another video. Just want to have a little bit of a discussion about uh, repacks in the vintage collection. Hasbro's been making a fair bit of uh, effort into getting some older figures out into the line um, for newer collectors that missed out on a lot of the figures back from sort of 2010 through 2013. So... I think it's a great thing. I've expressed my thoughts multiple times. I don't think the figure selection is quite there. Um, but, you know, it, it gives gives a lot of collectors an opportunity to catch up and I don't necessarily need to buy them. So I should probably thank my lucky stars that I'm uh, saving a little bit of money, extra, every little bit of extra cash every few waves. Um, so basically what I wanted to do is do a bit of a top 10 figures that should be released, uh, re-released in... The vintage collection so we're going to take a look um there was one i decided the last minute i could have added in so i'm going to go with an honorable mention so really it's a top 11 but we're going to do a top 10 so my, my honorable mention goes to the hoth rebel commander here let's just get the light down a little bit there we go <clears throat> see a great figure this wave that he was part of was actually really difficult to to come across um they were really short packed uh it was part of the wave that i think came with maybe ponda barber and um i think bastila shan as well they were both they were all sort of weren't super easy to get back in the day uh, bastila shan got a re-release and pretty sure ponda barber got a re-release too in the three and three quarter inch black series um but this guy's still waiting for a re-release uh, he'd make an exceptional uh, figure, um, you know, army builder basically as well. <clears throat> so now we'll get into my top ten. No particular order. They, I've just got ten figures sitting in front of me, so we'll uh, we'll take a look at some that I think should be re-released in the vintage collection, and uh, you know, hopefully has broken here. Um, this one has been really sought after. It is Republic Commando. Uh, I can't remember exactly what it's called uh, from the old Republic video game i think the old republic still has a great deal, great big fan base um and they did say they were going to put this one out again at some point uh this came out the last wave of the vintage collection back in 2012 uh yeah 2012 early 2013 um and yeah it was a, that wave was an online exclusive uh, so you were never going to be able to find this guy in store and then they did re-release him in the three and three quarter inch black series but he was mysteriously absent um around the world um i know a lot of stores in the uk sort of managed to get them and they were really cheap and you know then they immediately went on the secondary market but um this figure it's great really great figure he's got the removable helmet it's meant to look like uh jace malcolm i think his name was um but yeah i think there's probably enough people that are invested in the old republic that they could get this out again um even if they change the card put it on a legends card or even put it on an old republic card as opposed to expanded universe uh, it's a quality figure great accessories um yeah that would be a good one to get out there again so another army building not an army builder but another another um trooper would be an absolute must for some arc trooper commander also known as captain fordo i have him in his phase two sort of helmet here um but he did come with the accessory so you could have him in phase one as well and man this is an absolute cracking figure and not another one that was quite difficult to track down at the time um i was really lucky to get two um so i don't have the other one on my on my table right now but um yeah I've, I've sort of kept this guy in his phase two outfit for the most part again removable helmet and he had a distinct clone head sculpt there so unique looks really great but yeah this would this would get snapped up really quick if he got a re-release I have no doubt about that at all. He's been very highly sought after. 
in the years since his initial release. So we're going to attack a couple of Jedi now. First one is Kit Fisto. Another great figure that is uh, probably a little bit underrated, to be honest. I think it's a... He came out in the wave in wave four of the vintage collection back in 2011, 2010, 2011. Um, yeah, absolutely outstanding figure, definitely worthy of a re-release. Um, articulations exactly how you'd want it to. So, no dated figure here. He looks great. He'd be another one that I think would uh, get snatched up. We all saw how the Kit Fisto sold with the Black Series recently. He was very popular. And, uh, yeah, he's still a fan favorite, so I think Kit Fisto. And the next Jedi I'd go with is Fiex Search. Uh, he's a little bit of a little bit of a different one, being a Nikto. He's not a main character or anything, but he is a Jedi. I can't. I usually have him displayed with two lightsabers. I think it was just a cool look for him. He did come with like a light beige uh, tan sort of robe, but it was a little bit yeah. Um, so I've always sort of displayed him without it, but again, another great figure from Attack of the Clones. Um, you know, just another opportunity to get a cool Jedi out there, and you know, it's pretty basic, so I don't think it would be, you know, too difficult to put out. So, Fiex Search is the next one, one that I think people would clamor for as well. Um, now that the prequels are not as maligned as they were once were um you know in the magna guard now this one is quite pricey to get on the secondary market now so it's it's a difficult one but it's a really really great figure probably another one that's highly underrated uh, it's one i only managed to get one of at the time so but uh yeah had all the articulation this sort of soft goods sat around there really well looks good Articulation's good. Yeah, just this one's become quite expensive on the secondary market, so it would be uh, extremely worthwhile getting getting this back out into the vintage collection for some new collectors and old collectors as well who missed out on the first one or would like to get a couple more multiples. So, uh, my next one, go with Aura Singh. Now, she was on a Phantom Menace card because she had, did have that very brief scene, but it would be cool to see her maybe even put on a Clone Wars card. I think that would work just as well. The only real downside to this figure is she doesn't have the articulated ankles, which is a little, which was a little bit of a letdown. Um, but for the most part, the rest of the figure is absolutely outstanding. Really great figure. She looks really cool. And uh, I definitely think she'd sell well. Again, another one that's quite cool. Put it on a Clone Wars card and a slightly realistic image of her on uh, the Clone Wars. That would be that would be a cool cool figure to put out again. Really nice. All right, so one, another one that has risen in price exponentially over the last few years, particularly with the uh, the Jabba sale barge that came out and the skiffs. It's the Weequay Skiff Master. Now this guy has gone up in ridiculous amounts of money on the secondary market and I'm sort of just judging that by eBay. I don't know how else he's selling. Um, but yeah, this is a cool figure. Definitely he was the first of his kind. Um, not in terms of weak ways, but in terms of the Skiff Master. But yeah, another one that would uh, be very popular among all the folks that have been able to get the barge, get Skiffs. Java's Palace, all those sort of play sets and stuff that have been out in recent years. Um, you have no doubt that this one would sell quite well, and be definitely be a welcome addition to the uh, to the repacks. All right, so three left, um, and we're going to go with another really highly sought after um, expanded universe character, and it's Shea Vizsla from the Old Republic. I don't have her head sculpt on me at the moment. It's in the uh, accessories box. She did have a swap out head with her long red hair sort of draping down over the shoulders. Looked fantastic. She also came with some flame effects which plugged into her gauntlets, which was really, really cool. 
yeah just a really really great looking figure sort of really old Mandalorian helmet yeah that would be one that's definitely highly sought after now um, and yeah I'm pretty sure people would go gaga over that one too because it's just such a cool looking figure all right on to the last couple Zam Wessel um, this one probably is very much a maybe um, it's, it's a definitely an underrated figure she does have the swap out head so you can have the changeling head as well you can also have the mask sort of switch out and cover over her face she's a great looking character great looking figure too another seriously underrated figure from the uh, vintage collection not sure how well she'd sell um, maybe coming up to the 20 year anniversary of attack of the clones next year uh, might be a good time to put her back out um, that would probably work quite well but yes yeah, it's, it's a decent figure but yeah maybe maybe a well-timed re-release might work better just as opposed to just putting it out whenever so last but not least we're going back to wave one we're talking about general veers now if you give this guy a photo reel using the same technology they've just done with the black series veers this figure could absolutely be you know this is this is this is a great figure as it is um the one thing they did sort of goof up on was the gla the goggles they never really fit over the helmet when he arrived um so that was a case of dipping him in boiling water and stretching him over the helmet but um see there's veers the chest armor does pop off over the head and pop the head off but yeah just another one that has uh eluded people for a very long time i remember finding this at a convention for an absolute steal of a price someone just had a box of old vintage collection figures and this one was in there um and i reckon i paid about ten dollars for it and that was uh some time after after its release and uh i did miss it on its first release so it was great to find this one but uh, yeah i have no doubt that people would uh jump aboard this one as well damn light to correct itself <laughs> anyway general veers great addition really cool figure definitely worth definitely worth a repack in my opinion um yeah i'd love to know what you guys think uh which ones would you prefer to see repacked into the line if any at all um any of these you wouldn't be interested in anything drop a comment down below if you did like this video please hit the thumbs up if you have yet to subscribe to my channel please do and hit the notification bell so that all my videos come straight to your inbox and you're alerted as soon as they drop all right folks thanks very much for watching Really appreciate all your support. Until my next video, may the force be with you, always. We're a little rushed, so if you'll just get on board, we'll get on it.